this is the final and the last episode on the National Curriculum Framework as of now. Ho sakta hai aur bani. This is the sixth episode. Uh, do like, do share forward and do subscribe to our channel. We make it simple and today in this episode we are bringing you this whole idea of what is the NCF saying about a holistic progress card. Dhyan dhe ki isko progress card keh rahe hai, hum report card nahi kar rahe because this is something which is a beautiful document that they are encouraging us to create which will show the progress of the child. Ek bohat hi achhi baat ye hai कि एनसीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट में बार बार हमारे अपने हिस्टोरियंस अपने एजुकेशनिस्ट अपने थिंकर्स अपने फिलोसफर्स का जिक्र होता है दे स्टार्ट दिस होल होलिस्टिक प्रोग्रेस कार्ड आइडिया विथ अ मेंशन ऑफ गीजू भाई भदे का गीजू भाई भदे का गुजरात के एक पार्थ ब्रेकिंग एजुकेटर थे गुजराती में इनको मुछाड़ी माँ कहते थे मतलब माँ जिसकी मूचे इतना प्यार बच्चों से करते थे सो हिज मॉवलस बुक विच एवरी एजुकेटर मस्ट रीड इज दिवा स्वप्न दिवा स्वप्न मीन्स डे ड्रीमिंग दिन में सपने देखना उसको जरूर पढ़िए सो एक दिन गीजू भाई वेंट टू द क्लास बिगिनिंग दिस एपिसोड विद लवली स्टोरी विच इज नॉट माई आई मीन इट इज नॉन स्टोरी बट इट इज मैं इन दी सी एफ और वो क्लास में गए और डिक्टेशन दिया तो बच्चे खूब चिल्लाने लगे एंड दे सेट गिव मी द मार्क्स गिव मी द मार्क्स हाउ मेनी मिस्टेक्स है मेड एंड सो ऑन गीजू भाई इज सपोज टू हैव सेट दैट the children said all the teachers give us marks everybody gives us ranks please give that to us so gijo bhai said i am not going to give you any marks okay aapko sabko malum hai ki kya karna hai and with practice you will be able to do that but the children were not used to this so they kept saying give us marks and give us ranks at which gijo bhai has said do i give you ranks when you play do i give you ranks when you listen to a story does the school give you ranks when you are thin or fat or rich and poor we are not going to get into a system of ranks we will practice we will observe each other we will learn we will grow ye bola hai and sara the entire premise of the holistic progress card is based on this thing about no marks no grades just showing progress of the child qualitatively by giving qualitative remarks ab ye kaise hoga ye hoga rubric ke dwara rubric kya hai थोड़ा सा समझेंगे बट अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो ऑन रूब्रिक्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन आवर चैनल डू लुक फॉर दैट द लिंक इज राइट हियर बट राइट नाउ द रूब्रिक इज लाइक अ टेबल दिस इज नॉट अ मार्किंग स्कीम उससे कंफ्यूज हम ना करें मार्किंग स्कीम इज सिंपल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मार्क्स अ रूब्रिक हैज अ कोहेरेंट सेट ऑफ क्राइटेरिया जैसे कि ये रूब्रिक बना है कि बच्चे माइंड मैप बना रहे थे एंड सबमिट कर रहे थे उसके लिए थ्री क्राइटेरिया टीचर हैड इज द माइंड मैप नीट is have they used symbols and images what about the use of color now look at the five levels 1 2 3 4 5 all right and here they have also given smileys so that the children understand marks kahi pe bhi nahi hai and look at the descriptive indicators beech ka pa column hum padhe when the child is just beginning the mind map can include few images later some more images later more images and diagram so the teacher is actually supposed to observe at which level is the student that's all that is the idea of a rubric yahan koi bhi marks nahi dena hai now let us jump into what is the ncf document saying about hpc hpc holistic progress card holistic progress card inka kehna hai that 360 degrees ka pura humko ek view point lena hai which means apart from the teacher the hpc must also include the observations by the parents by the peers as well as some self assessment by the children that's what it is but jo competencies ka section hai we know that there are five domains that we have mentioned at least at the foundational stage and eight domains later from grade 3 upwards we are aware of the ncf document by now this is our sixth video पांच वीडियोस हमारे पूरे एनसीएफ पे बने हैं उनको आप जरूर देखें टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दीज डोमेन्स आर न द कॉम्पिटेंसीज ऑफ कोर्स ओनली द टीचर विल हैंडल दैट सेक्शन ऑफ द रिपोर्ट कार्ड रिपोर्ट कार्ड के सेक्शंस कैसे होंगे हम अंत में बात करेंगे डू स्टे विद दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दी एचपीसी देन दीज कॉम्पिटेंसीज आर गोइंग टू बी ब्रोकन अप इन टू ए बी सी डी ई जैसे इसके पहले हमने पांच स्माइलीज दिखाए एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एटलीस्ट फाइव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ रूब्रिक्स that you can practice directly in your class in the following five slides okay 
though this is to a specific age group and a specific class it's not necessary that the children will achieve everything in one grade okay they can progress from one stage to the other apni apni comfort and apni apni pace mein bachcha aage badhega what the teacher has to do is report to the next class ki kaun se stage mein abhi bachcha hai i'll show you some examples of that's a beautiful idea of course these learning outcomes act as a rubric which i have shown you but i'll show you direct rubrics now from what are they saying about many domains as we know from the ncr pehla hum le lete hain mathematics all right so understands and demonstrates countings all right now i'm showing you five different varieties of rubrics as mentioned in the national curriculum framework which is now tied into nipun bharat निपुण भारत का डॉक्यूमेंट यदि आप देखेंगे तो उसमें ये बार बार जिक्र आता है कि किस तरह से ये रूब्रिक बनेंगे एंड वी नीड टू हैव दीज फाइव लेवल्स ए बी सी डी ई एट द बिगिनिंग लेवल एट ए चाइल्ड इज नॉट येट एबल टू सीक्वेंस द नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी बिल्कुल बिगिनर है अपरेंट नहीं है कि इसको कुछ काउंटिंग का आता भी है एट द सेकेंड लेवल बच्चा रख लेता है सो इज एबल टू काउंट फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी बट आप उसको बीस चीजें दे दो टॉफीज एप्पल्स द चाइल्ड इज नॉट एबल टू काउंट इन सीक्वेंस कलेक्शन को काउंट नहीं कर पा रहा है अभी भी नाउ एट द नेक्स्ट लेवल सी व्हिच इज मोर एडवांस द चाइल्ड इज एबल टू काउंट कलेक्शन ऑफ थिंग्स इन सीक्वेंस देन द चाइल्ड इज एबल टू काउंट बैकवर्ड एंड फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम एनी नंबर काउंट बैकवर्ड फ्रॉम फाइव कैन डू इट काउंट फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम सेवन कैन डू इट सो द चाइल्ड इज कम टू काउंटिंग बाय वन बट फाइनल आउटकम ऑफ ई which is the teacher's expectation or the curricular expectation at the end of this age is that the child should be able to count by twos by fives and tens to so, 1 se 20 tak yadi hai to 2 4 6 8 10 12 aana chahiye 5 10 15 20 aana chahiye but zaruri nahi hai that all the children will reach this stage e wherever your child the student is that is what you get report you report to the next class no marks just a progress report just a progress card to be given to the next teacher let's look at one more this time language and literacy domain child listens to and appreciates simple songs rhymes and poems this little bit different rubric dekhiye a listens to a wide variety of songs and poems b listens aur saath mein gungunata bhi hai bachcha listens and also has a conversation familiar songs d listens to unfamiliar songs and has a conversation and e final learning outcome shows preference to listening to only certain kinds of songs kuch pasand hai kuch na pasand hai jawab de deta hai bachcha ki kyon nahi hai pasand that is one competency one learning outcome we are looking at look at another one repeats a simple song or a rhyme then with intonation and gesture then with memory slightly longer with memory multiple verses with memory nazar aa raha hai na a b c d e ka progress dekhiye so beautiful so beautifully done no marks hame ye batana hai that the child is at level c child is at level d child is at level e when you are moving to the next grade or next teacher though i've taken examples from the foundational stage because this is what is up this is exactly the way we will do it for all the classes when we are actually creating a holistic progress card stay with me towards the end we are going to tell you how this what this is going to look like let's take something about aesthetic appreciation now this time the ncf is also mentioning ki teacher ka role kya hai child ask the teacher which color can i take for filling in the colors in the picture teacher does not say the ye wala rang lo she says you choose encouragement then the child says i like these colors teacher is this okay teacher ka approval sochta hai teacher again says there are more colors why don't you explore then child takes a picture and starts painting teacher says listen there are hues and shades and light and dark would you like to try she is encouraging but not saying ki mera ye choice hai ye karo now this is very very interesting at this stage child chooses her own colors but also goes around sees ki baki bachche kya kar rahe hain now here i think it's beautiful because appreciation of other points of view is coming into the ncf teacher says 
Okay, it's nice that you're also appreciating other people's choices. Yehi aage chalke, appreciation of diversity ban jata hai. Okay, and final outcome which is expected is, child completes her painting and also goes and encourages everybody else and teacher supports this. Let's look at just one more. Okay, now there is some missing part of a familiar picture. This is the last rubric. After this, we will talk about how do we really transfer all this into a holistic progress card. Again, A, B, C, D, E is bar. We are doing animals. Now, teacher has presented the picture with one missing part. Ekdam beginning mein child bata nahi pata hai which part is missing. Right? Teacher is encouraging with clues. Next level, he is able to say which is missing also using active vocabulary. Then more vocabulary is able to label all the parts of the animal, in this case the elephant. Then here, again interesting, student is able to do this, is able to name the missing part all other parts as well as this is an interesting thing here teacher appreciates and encourages the child to support other children and final outcome expected is the child names everything names the missing part as well as if there are other children who are struggling clues part so this is the beauty of what is known as a rubric it has descriptive indicators no marks we just write this the teacher reports this thing will get transferred into the hpc the child is at level d and you just copy this comment onto the report card ki yaha hai bachcha. okay so most of these rubrics are coming to us ready made we have created this pictorial for you but finally yes that was about the rubrics but what else will go into the uh, report card what will go is what you are going to do through a rating scale Rate yourself. Are you a beginner, a novice, a capable? Jahan tak chote bachcho ka sawal hai, we must use these smiles, reactions, you know. And because they love it. I love this one. On a scale of 1 to 10, you are at 11, the teacher can always say. Okay, there is one more thing. So we talked about the rubric, we talked about the rating scale. There is a portfolio. This is very important because yahan pe parent ke comment up aate hai. Because we are taking the parents' point of view into the holistic progress card. This ki slide, the last two slides will show you what the holistic progress card is going to look like. The portfolio is a document which begins from foundational years. It is carried forward from class to class. It shows linear progress in any skill. But kis tarah se grow ho hai? Either in writing, in drawing, in mathematics and whatever. And it keeps passing from one class to the other. Alright? The portfolio has some evidence of children's work. Unki likhai or some drawing or whatever they've done that can be pasted in the portfolio. So that remains a documentary evidence of the child's growth. And it can include notes from the parents about the child's development. Because aap kuch dekh rahe ho, but parent bhi kuch aur dekh rahe hain. Especially in the domain of social and emotional development, the parent will see a lot more in the society, in the family, in the neighborhood that we might miss in the school. And taking the parent's point of view here is a great idea because now you're getting their point of view also on what you're already documenting. All right. So let us look at how does this look into the holistic progress card when you start creating it for your school. Number one, it will run into quite a few pages. Okay, number two, you will have to capture the data from everything, from observation records, from rating scales, from portfolios, as well as from the rubrics. Okay? Teacher is expected to write where the student is on the five-point scale of the rubric. But the rubric may aapne mark kar diya. Vaha se aapko yahan pe, you have got to transfer that onto the holistic progress card the child is here. The competency measurement in the rubric is entirely in the teacher's hand. Here there is no room for the parents to come in. You could do peer assessment here, of course, as well as self-assessment. It is also recommended by the uh, NCF that the teacher should write what they need to do to help the student to progress to the next level. Kya missing hai or kya karna chahiye? In the report card that mention should be there so that somebody takes it forward. The holistic progress card must have space for parents' own observations and of the student in certain domains, not in all domains. This HPC actually should serve two goals. Evaluation goal as well as the goal of self-learning for our children and the students. Though we've taken examples from foundational stage because that's what is final, 
it's exactly the same thing which we need to do for the remaining school. So this is the HPC which we need to know. And this is a beautiful way. Otherwise, our report card was in the childhood. So this is what used to happen. Okay. Khali marks, percentages, no room. We, don't, we never used to know how to improve. Such a beautiful shift has happened now. And children will be so much more at peace. And so will the parents be to know how I need to improve. As well as the teachers, of course. Thank you for watching. That was a session on what does the National Curriculum Framework say about the holistic progress card. It is definitely a 360 degree evaluation of student progress. I hope you like what we present. I hope you like this particular video. Share it forward and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.